Hey, and welcome back to AIDIY, AIDIY.tech. I'm your host, Matt. Now, you may or may not subscribe to the Suno newsletter. If you got it, you may have gotten this, or you may have read this thing that said, go in and do the edit and select and replace feature, and you can add new parts of that song. Uh, and then you followed along with the instructions, and they were terrible instructions, and you want to know how to do it. So it took me a while to figure it out. I've had friends try to figure out they haven't been able to as well. Um, terrible email. We'll fix it up for you. Just stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So I tried to follow along with the instructions. Luckily, I'm in IT and 75% of what I do in IT security and IT support and infrastructure and all that stuff is documenting things I do. This is a terrible document, especially for something that's used by you know the general population. So this is what it looks like. Um, hello, Dad with Gypsy Lantern. Right click on the select, and edit the brief, replace the song, blah, blah, blah. Basically what it says there. Um, I go into there and I try to do all that stuff. I have friends try to do that stuff as well. And you can't follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to do it in a way that shows you this really cool song that I accidentally made. And I was just playing around with Suno and trying to figure out um, if I can do things in different ways with uh, different functions. So I started making this arrow, right? This is for my satire thing. I'll just show you here. The, the lyrics are not laid out in regular lyric form that I would normally do. And I wanted to make it sort of a funky thing, right? So I'm gonna show my hands now. Basically, I wanted to sample some parts of a song. And I wanted to see if I could lay it out here without chorus and all that. Anyway, um, what we're gonna do is um, is we're going to go. You can do it in anywhere, right? So we'll go back here. All right, and then you have to first of all you have to select at least ten. So anyway, this is the one here. Click on these dots. Can you see the dots? Yes, you can. See the dots here? So you're going to go the three dots here, and you go edit. And then you're going to replace section. This part, I think, was right, and it wasn't too confusing. But it was saying all these other buttons that are here, like preview and all that stuff, too, and they're not. Um, it it, it kind of is, but it's kind of not, right? Uh, the preview section is there, but after you do all the work. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a part of a song, right? So I'm going to go, I want to do it after this. This is instrumental section. There's the inter instrumental section. Okay, anyway, I, I don't even care if that's not where it ends. The, one of the things I was experimenting with, and you might want to take this as a tip, is this instrumental part here. I just added it in brackets just to see if it would sort of add an instrumental. You know, it, it may not work one go or two goes, but because it's funny sometimes, but it did add it in exactly how I wanted to. So anyway, what you do, you're going to start highlighting some sections here. And we'll get out of the instrumental, so it'll be done with the instrumental. We get that uh, come back, come back that part there, whatever. Now you have to select at least 10 seconds. So that's what, six seconds. We'll go, we'll go here. Feel, whatever, right? And this is where you get, this is where the, the thing, I'm gonna show you where this mistake happens, right? So I'm gonna get rid of, I don't want to have that there. We'll come back, whatever. Um, I, I want definitely want to leave that instrumental stuff in there. So this is where you replace the lyrics, right? You you basically, and, and this is a good function. If you use, you know, you see a million reasons why. Sometimes, like you spell a word and it pronounces it completely different. Maybe you want to try that again or you want to spell it phonetically. There's a million reasons sort of for doing this. So I want to get rid of that comeback feel. You know, I do like that comeback feel. Um, oh, we'll go comeback. Comeback. Love. Come back deep 
love um, Rue. I don't know. I don't even know if that's how you spell Groovy. Whatever. Okay. So well, I'm going to show you what happens, right? The instructions say to do this. Hit these three. Hit edit. Replace selection. Watch what happens. Oh, and there you go. It just does that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this because I think, yeah, there's some, there's some lyrics that I prepared earlier. Anyway, I just pasted that. So what you do, okay, is at this point, what is going on here? Uh, you have to select at least 10 seconds. Okay, yeah. There you go. 10 seconds. V. There you go. Cool. Okay, and you can see there, when I hit that and I told it what it did, it actually took it back beyond the 10 seconds as well. So don't do what the instructions says to do if you do follow my instructions here. Now, this is where you go, right? You're going to replace that. Hit the recreate section. And you're just going to confirm it. Uh, lyrics being replaced is these red ones here. And you're going to replace it with these, right? And you're going to hit confirm. And this is where it's going to create the two previews. Now, that is not part of the instruction. It's, the instructions are awful. If you want to go back to the instructions, you can go and do that again. Just rewind. Just takes a little while to do. Yeah, while, while it's doing this, I just want to... What I'll do is... I'll, do, uh, I'll take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Um, it definitely helps me, well, it will help me at some point when I get enough subscribers and I have enough views where I can get monetized and actually pay for subscriptions for these things that I'm using and I'm demonstrating. I don't plan on making a whole bunch of money. There's other stuff I can do with it as well. Um, also, I want to start forming a community uh, around AI music and people supporting each other because I've noticed there's a lot of love that's coming in and all around for AI music supporters from other AI music creators and hopefully from other people as well. And I notice, you know, like with all the releases that come out with Suno, um, people miss some stuff. So in a community, people can help each other out. And that's okay, I'm building a community right now, and that's going to be really soon. But the more you subscribe, the more people come in, and the bigger we can build that community. So as a team, let's do that together. And uh, I also want to remind you to look at my charity that I support, loveheart.org, that supports the John Fawcett Foundation. Uh, you should go over to John Fawcett Foundation website, um, do a donation there, or you can do it through my site. Um, if you don't feel comfortable do it, doing it through me and my credit card process, just go to John Fawcett Foundation, do it there, I'm fine with that. Have a look through what they do. It's beautiful. Go to Indonesia, uh, and you they basically save families by by removing high cataracts. So go ahead and do that. And now I will flick back. Okay, here, we got our two previews here. Now it'll give you an option. It's gonna play the instrumental section. Uh, if you don't if you don't like that one or you could try this one okay there we are now what I'm, I'm gonna select this one right so this will now make the full song all right, it's going to go there and do it. I won't have you listen to it all over again. If you want to, I'm going to release this on my blog site. So go to AIDIY.tech, go to the blog site, and um, I don't know what I'm going to arrow. I'm, I'll call the blog the, the arrow, or I'll make a note, the arrow in brackets. I'll title it something like, you know, how to um, do the find and replace section, and I'll have him practice the arrow. So if you enjoyed that, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe to the channel and... Uh, I will document that and we'll see you next time.